If you are even remotely interested or playing with AI music, there's a set of tools that you're gonna find yourself needing on a regular basis. Certainly a vocal remover, a stem separator perhaps, something that can detect the beats per minute and maybe even change the pitch, remove noise. Wow, that's a lot of different tools. Wouldn't it be great if there was one site where you could get all this stuff and a lot of it free? <laughs> you know there is. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and AI music with all of its controversy is not going anywhere and people are having a lot of fun with it and creating great stuff. Now, if you follow this channel for a while, you know we've done a good many videos about creating music in Udio or Suno and then removing the vocals from those and then converting those vocals to something that we either created ourselves or any other licensed AI voice model out there to add a professional edge to the music that can sometimes seem a little distorted. Same is true with stems. If you can isolate various instruments from the AI track that maybe you know you want to re-record with the real thing, you're able to do that quite easily. And all of that is available here in this tool. So why don't we go ahead and just get a look at the vocal remover. It's the most common thing you'll probably use the most as something like this. And what's great about this site is you can bookmark it somewhere and then just have instant access to vocal remover, stem splitter, noise reducer, a key and beats per minute finder, and the pitch changer, which comes in super handy if you're you're trying to learn a song on a musical instrument. The vocal remover allows you to upload any audio file from your system or you can actually download files from online services. For example, if I go to the online site link and let's say I want to download and separate the vocals from this 1921 hit. I don't know if it was a hit. All by myself by Eileen Stanley. We are way into public domain territory at this point. Let's just listen real quick to what it sounds like. Headphones on boys and girls. You get the idea. Okay, so we're just going to basically click share, copy that link, go right back over to the vocal remover, paste the link here, click on start, and just give it a couple of minutes to do its thing. I'd say that took about a minute, maybe even a little less. You get three files presented here. One is the original that we listened to a little bit. They loved me that. Okay, and then here's just the instrumental track. <laughs> Skip ahead. This is where the voice would be. And just having the instrumental track is sometimes handy because perhaps you want to use that old timey sound for something, but you don't want the vocals on it. This is a way to do that. And then of course, down here is the isolated vocal track. Be, what'll I do? I long for somebody who will sympathize with me. So even though that's a 1921 recording, that is a really clean and high quality vocal separation. Definitely one of the best I've heard. You can now download all of these tracks to use them however you'd like to for your DAW. You need, in fact, to download them as they're presented because once you navigate away from the page, they're gone. So now I could take this vocal track and I could convert it to my voice or any other voice I have a model for or use any other online services to convert that vocal track into the voice of our choice and then mix it back into the original instrumental or maybe you recreate that instrumental track with real instruments, whatever you want to do. This gives you the flexibility to do that. So now let's do it with an audio file that we created in Udio. So I can just drag it right onto the page. If you get put in a queue, you'll be told that there's currently 30 people in line in front of me. Don't worry, it really doesn't take that long. And remember, this is free. Okay, so now here's the original. We'll just listen to a second of it. Can't move a step no more. Oh, sugar, sugar. All right, let's listen to just the instrumental track. Sugar, sugar. Jump down the vocal. I used to feel so free. Oh, days, the <laughs> they played those tracks every night. So awesome job at separating the vocal. It sounds really good, even for an AI voice. Wouldn't you agree? I'm going to download those because I know I'm going to do something with that stuff later. Now let's go to the stem splitter. What's the difference between a stem splitter and a vocal remover? Aren't you doing the same thing? Well, the vocal remover is specifically for vocals and a stem splitter allows you to isolate various instruments. 
So we choose the stem splitter and inside here you see you can separate drums, you can separate the bass, or you can separate piano. So let's separate the drums from the track that we just listened to. I'm going to drag the exact same one in, step in the queue and get to know my neighbors. Okay, less than a minute on this one. So you've already heard the original and here we go with drums. And then what they also give you is the mix with the drums removed because maybe you want to replace the drums with a live drum track or something like that. So you can have the track without that rhythm. Can't move a step no more. It would be here. No more. Oh, sugar, sugar. I used to feel, I used to feel so free. So you see the difference. You can extract specific instruments out so that you can replace them later and leave the rest of the music track intact. The noise reducer. So every now and then you're doing a recording and, oh, I don't know, a leaf blower goes off or you leave a fan on by accident and you end up with a noisy track. And you want to use it because other than the noise, it was just great. So a noise reducer allows you to extract the noise from the original audio, leaving you with just the clean vocal track or just the noise if you want. So let's make a noisy clip right now that would be problematic because it has a lot of extra noise in it. I have a room fan right here that I've now brought right next to the microphone. I'm going to turn it on and then hit record over here. Let's see if I can make it even louder. Okay, so now I'm recording and I've got this fan noise on in the background. I'm assuming you can hear it. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to make it more real life, not trying to create a huge problem for myself, but this is something that could occur in a real life situation. So let's see how bad the noise is and if we can remove it. So let's make sure we can hear the noise. Okay, so now I'm recording and I've got this fan noise on in the background. I'm assuming you can hear it. I'm not trying to... Okay, so we've got that fan noise. I'm going to save that out. Fan noise. And then we'll just drag that file into the noise remover. Why don't we take this opportunity to find out what their paid options are? So with the free plan, you can upload three files per day to do any of this stuff you want to. And you can download one file per day. You're able to extract audio from these other online services, but there's no export in video formats and you don't get access to any AI model upgrades. And of course the 24 seven technical support, well, it's just not for you, but they do have a monthly plan with an unlimited duration. So you can just upload and do all this stuff all day long. So is this for you? Well, I don't know. How much AI music do you produce? If you just do like a song a week and you just want to mix it every now and then, and this isn't part of your everyday job workflow, well, then you probably don't need a plan like this. But if you do and you need quick access to these tools, well, here it is. They also have a pay as you go where you pay up front and you buy a certain amount of minutes and then you can just add on to that. That might be a good option for you if you're not doing this kind of thing full time. You'll notice down here in the corner that there are apps available for both the Android and the iOS phones. First, let's check out the noise that it extracted. Now you may have to listen very carefully or put headphones on because it's just the fan, but you can hear the high pitch hum of the fan in here. And now here's the vocal with that removed. So now I'm recording and I've got this fan noise on in the background. I'm assuming you can hear. Now I'm going to switch back and forth between the one where it's removed and the original so you can hear. But again, you might have to listen close, but that's what this is. Sometimes the noise you need to remove is just subtle, but it's enough that you don't want it in a professional mix. So here it is again without the fan and I'll start switching back and forth. Now I'm recording and I've got this fan noise on in the background. I'm assuming you can hear it. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to make it more real life, not trying to create a huge problem for myself, problem for myself, but this is something that could occur in a real life situation, could occur in a real life situation. But if you got some headphones on, you can hear the difference there. There's going to be a lot of situations where you're going to want to know the key of the song you're playing with and the beats per minute. If you're going to be orchestrating this thing out further, if you're going to be giving the music over to musicians, you just want to know what key the song's in. That's pretty common. Same with the beats per minute. If you're going to be bringing this into another DAW to work with, you're going to want to program the correct beats per minute so it's not all messed up and you can lay other rhythm tracks and things like that. I think you understand what I'm talking about if you are a musician. So this is a really quick way to determine those things just by dragging the file onto this page. So we're going to take the song that we played with before. We're going to drag it right here. And we see in seconds that it is 125 beats per minute in the key of B minor. And if you know anything about the Camelot circle, it's a 10A. You can look that up. I did. The Camelot wheel is a tool used by DJs to mix tracks harmoniously. It maps musical keys in a circular layout, allowing you to mix songs with adjacent keys, same number, next letter, or with the same key, same number, same letter, for seamless transitions and harmonic mixing. 
Now let's talk about the pitch changer. What is a great use case for the pitch changer? Well, obviously, if you have perhaps removed a vocal and you want to sing along with the track and it's not in your key, you can adjust that this way. But let's say you're a musician and you want to learn how to play a particular song. There's plenty of sites out there and apps that will give you the chords to popular songs and actually even show you the YouTube video of that song so that you can play along with it. But what if it's in a key that is difficult for you, like it's C sharp, and wouldn't it be great if it was in C? The app can transpose the chords for you, but the video playing along with it is still going to be in the original key. This tool allows you to take the audio of a song and change the pitch of it without changing the speed or the drum track sounds so that now you can actually play the transposed chords along with that recording and it will be in the proper key. Let me demonstrate how this works. So we'll drag our track in, we'll drop it in, and here we go. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do so I don't have to talk over it. I can change the volume of the track. I can change the speed of the track. The beats per minute are going to be listed over here. So you can get very specific with it. And same with the semitones. You can see now that the key is in B minor. So we can change the key and no, we're not just sort of shifting it up a little higher. We're changing to a specific key. So let's just play this. So I can bring down the volume in real time. Changing the beats per minute without changing the pitch. I can also take it lower. We start to hear some artifacting if we go way too slow. All right. And now let's play with the pitch. B minor, C minor. D flat minor. We go back here. Or lower. A minor. You're actually, it's in the key of A minor, but you can play, you can see, you can play with the pitch a little bit, fine tune it. So an amazing suite of tools that all function great, all in one site, and a lot of them you can play with for free. And depending on how much you do this, one of their paid plans might be perfect for you. But I just wanted to let you know about it because it is a resource that I go to when I'm in my workflow, and I just thought you might think some of it was cool. So if these are the kinds of things you like to learn about and play with, then why not subscribe to the channel? Because this is what we cover here all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will...